thank you so much. I mean, that was an incredible welcome. And um, I just, you know, I, uh, before I hand this over to Mohab, um, I just have some people we want to thank. And we've actually, our team's been on the road for the last four months. Uh, we've had two, over 208 screenings of this film around the country. And so many of them have been in, uh, you know, states with communities and, and places where people don't normally engage with this, with this work. We've been in Texas, Nebraska, North Carolina, everywhere you could possibly imagine. And I can't tell you, after being there, how important the work that you are doing is. Because elevating these stories so that we can talk about them as communities is, is so important. So thank you so much to all of you. And the people that have allowed us to elevate those stories are, a lot of them are here tonight. Our creative team, uh, Jen, Mishu, uh, Patrick, Snuffy Walden, the people who do the music and the editing of this film, they deserve so much. Yeah. So thank you. And as you know, it takes a true village to create these films. And the most important part of that village, of course, are the people's stories, the people who are actually living the stories that we're telling. Um, and unfortunately, the reality is they can't be here. So I feel like we're, we're accepting this award on their behalf. And Chris and I were just, uh, we're actually just Facebook chatting with uh, one of them, Gaussoon. And I think she's an incredible story just to tell tonight. She defies all these stereotypes that we hear today. She is a single mother who used to be a nurse back in Syria and now has to just do anything she can to provide for her three children. And for, you know, for us, I think it's really her who, it's, it, she embodies so much of what we tell in this film and really provides us hope every single day. And so we owe her and, and all the people in this film a huge round of applause. So, salam alaikum. In our world, we begin every encounter with peace. We recognize each other's humanity. Yet the world view of us is to convey the opposite message. We are portrayed, therefore, as a stereotype, one that tells the vast, vast majority of us that our religion is what the extremists on both sides say, say it is. They want us to make a choice between us and them. There is no middle ground. Salam Neighbor rejects that premise and finds the vast middle ground where so many of us reside by challenging these stereotypes. Rather than engage in monologues like ships that pass each other in the night, we initiate cross-cultural dialogue through human stories where East meets West. Rather than fight fire with fire, we respond with peace and humanity. Salam Neighbor presents the reality of the Syrians, the Syrian refugees' lives. It shows us that below the stereotypes, the Syrians are people just like all people, trying to get an education, raise their families, share a dream, and hope in a world that sometimes seems so desperate. But within that desperation, they have shown us incredible generosity and opened their hearts to our film team. By portraying the reality that these are people, we begin to chip away at the wall that's been built by stereotypes and fear, a wall that creates a, a terrible barrier to compassion. What is most gratifying to us is what you see in front of the camera, is what happened behind the camera. Salam Neighbor has been a successful because the team from East and West joined together for a greater goal. We hope to inspire others to do the same, to find a long-lasting solution to the Syrian refugee crisis. And that step begins with hello and peace, neighbor. We thank MPAC for this award, which takes us to the first step. So I say to all of you, salam, neighbors. Thank you. Thank you.